All right. Hello, everybody. This is Zach Stern 99. Now, I want to go ahead and talk here real quick about other teams' fans talking smack about the Cowboys using their number four pick uh, in this year's draft to draft running back Ezekiel Elliott out of Ohio State. Now, nobody is talking more smack about this pick than the Philadelphia Eagles fans. Why? Probably because they're scared to death now of the offense that the Cowboys are going to have this year, uh, maybe next year, and maybe even a third year. As long as Romo can stay healthy, they have a kick-ass quarterback, one of the best wide receivers now in all of football with Des Bryant. Didn't say the best, but definitely one of the best, and very likely one of the best uh, running backs uh, coming out of college now, especially when you look at Dallas' offensive line. This is going to help Romo out tremendously. And, you know, this is kind of a go-for-now move rather than taking Ramsey. Now, a lot of people are saying Dallas should have taken Ramsey after Boza was picked uh, third overall by the Chargers. Uh, and Ramsey was concerning to me, not that he isn't a gifted cornerback, but he didn't have a whole lot of uh, interceptions in college. And that's concerning for a top cornerback like that. And if you remember, Dallas has already made a high first-round pick gamble on a cornerback that at the time, Dallas was, you know, uh, massively applauded for moving up to number six a few years ago and taking Maurice Claiborne, who everybody thought was by far and away the best corner to come out of college in years. And we saw that Maurice Claiborne was pretty much a total bust. Uh, Dallas signed him to a big contract, and he really hasn't done a whole lot. Uh, in fact, Dallas's cornerback, uh, Scandrick, Orlando Scandrick out of Boise State, uh, has performed a lot better on the field at a fraction of the price and for a lot lower draft pick. So I don't think Dallas was ready to gamble on uh, Ramsey at the number four spot. Instead, they wanted somebody to complete their dynamic offense. Now, a lot of people could say, well, Dallas already had McFadden. Well, I think Dallas was lucky McFadden didn't get hurt last year uh, as much as he carried the ball, especially when Romo was hurt. Uh, and even though they've added Morris, neither Morris or uh, McFadden, as much as I like those two guys, neither one of those guys have the cut, uh, the cutting ability or the explosive uh, speed that a guy like uh, Elliott has. So I don't blame them at all for going for Ezekiel Elliott. But I just want to go ahead and come back with the Eagles fans of all people talking smack about how Dallas wasted a draft pick at number four to pick up a running back. Uh, you know, I understand that the NFL doesn't, you know, a lot of people don't draft high uh, running backs anymore because you can get good running backs in later rounds. But this is a special guy with Ezekiel Elliott, and pretty much everybody knows that. And he definitely uh, is going to help Dallas make Dallas uh, an explosive offense and make Dallas an offense that's not only explosive, but give them the ability to keep their defense off the field with clock management uh, and allow them to control the clock. I think you're going to see Dallas this year have a lot of games where they control the clock. You know, they have 38 to 40 to 42 minutes of offensive time compared to, you know, 18 or 20 minutes uh, of offensive time for the other team just because they have, uh, you know, a, a very good offensive line. They have Ezekiel now and the ability to throw the ball especially if defenses are loading the box to try to stop Elliott. So <clears throat> the Eagles fans of all teams, from what I've heard so far, are the ones talking the most smack about the Cowboys taking Ezekiel Elliott at number four. Let's take a look at what the Eagles did this year in their draft. They were originally at the number 13 position. They won a quarterback really bad, even though they have a pretty good quarterback in Sam Bradford, uh, in my opinion. But they gave up uh, cornerback Byron Maxwell, linebacker Kiko Alonso. These two guys are pretty good defensive players. And they also gave up their uh, third number 13 pick to the Dolphins to move up to number 8. So now the Eagles have given up two defensive players, uh, basically, to move up to that uh, number 8 position. And then, if you look here, when they moved up from number 8 to number 2, they gave the Browns... Uh, that pick, of course, the number eight pick, they gave him a 2017 first round pick, a 2018 second round pick, and in return, all they received was next year's fourth round pick. 
So the Eagles gave up a ton, considering the two defensive guys they gave to Miami. And uh, next year's first round pick, 2018 second round pick, and this year's first round pick, all to go up and get Carson Wentz, who I honestly believe, and I've believed for a long time, isn't going to be that good. In fact, I think Sam Bradford's a hell of a lot better quarterback than I think Carson Wentz will ever be. Do I not think Carson Wentz is good? Yeah, I think he's good, but I don't think he's uh, great. And I bet you that Sam Bradford is a hell of a lot better quarterback than Carson Wentz will ever be. I'm saying that right now. And you look at what uh, the Eagles gave up to get Carson Wentz. I think Dallas made a hell of a lot smarter play by not trading any future picks uh, to pick up Elliott. They just only use their first round pick. So I don't want to hear any smack from the Eagles fans uh, of all people about Dallas drafting Elliott. Unless you're just talking smack because you're actually scared of your defense, who you uh, lost two players to with this uh, trade that you did, trying to stop Dallas's offense now. So, uh, yeah, I, I, unbelievable the kind of smack that I'm hearing about Dallas drafting Elliott and how Dallas should have drafted Ramsey. Absolutely not. Uh, I know that uh, a lot of people consider this a move for right now rather than banking on the future, but I don't think Dallas drafting Ramsey would have been a pick for the future. Time will tell uh, in the next few years if Dallas made the right choice by drafting Elliott over drafting uh, Jalen Ramsey. I think Dallas made the smart choice. I think Dallas drafted the better player and the player that's actually going to, uh, you know, more likely to be in the Hall of Fame and have more, you know, Pro Bowl years and that kind of thing. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. Should Dallas have drafted Ramsey at uh, spot number four? Or what do you think Dallas should have done? Or do you agree with the Cowboys' uh, choice to pick up Ezekiel Elliott? Let me know down in the comments below. Be sure you rate this video, everybody. This has been Zaxxer99. Thanks for watching. Take care.